Hello everybody, this is Chris with The Ancient Scholar. This is just a quick video on the basic external characteristics of the PB840, and I'll take you through how to do a patient, basic uh, patient uh, setup on the PB840. This video does assume that you have some uh, basic knowledge of mechanical ventilation, and I don't go into advanced concepts. Okay, looking at the uh, outside of the uh, PB840, the Puritan Bennett 840, uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. You can see the on-off switch here, most important switch. Uh, we have the inspiratory limb with the inspiratory uh, HEPA filter. It goes to the uh, heated wick uh, cascade system. Um, following the inspiratory limb to the uh, Y adapter. And uh, you notice that there's a little red cap that uh, fits on the end of the Y. We keep that cap off when we turn the ventilator on. Otherwise, the ventilator will alarm, and you'll have to turn it off and take the cap off again. We're now looking at the expiratory limb. It goes to the expiratory filter. We'll move along to the back of the ventilator. You can see your compressed oxygen and compressed um, air connectors. Both go to the back of the ventilator. And the power cable, of course, is plugged into a red emergency outlet. Alright, so we'll move back around to the main interface of the ventilator. You can see the uh, screen, um, the top part and the bottom part, which is the sandbox and several buttons. The screen lock, uh, alarm silence buttons, uh, very important, and 100% uh, oxygen, manual breath, inspiratory and expiratory hold buttons, and we have our dial. Um, and of course, you always want to hit the select button when changing. Okay, doing a new setup on the PB840. You assume that the SST has already been completed. We'll go ahead and select new patient and select the ideal body weight for that patient with the selector knob up and down. Once we select our body weight of 70 kilograms, you'll hit continue. You go into the new patient setup. We will go ahead and uh, Look at the uh, different selections. Uh, we'll go ahead and select invasive mode because it's an innovative patient. You can select between assist control, spontaneous, uh, by level, and SIMV. We'll keep this in assist control. We can go pressure control, volume control, or volume control plus. We'll keep this in volume control. We can do flow or pressure triggering. We'll keep this in flow triggering, and then we'll hit continue. Okay, from a new patient setup, this brings me into my settings uh, menu for the initial patient. You can see I'm in assist control, rate of 10. This is all volume control with uh, flow triggering. Uh, and, of course, the ideal body weight um, is in there as well. So I can go ahead and select the, the rate. I can go up and down on the uh, rate. This is a mandatory rate. And you can see my IDE ratio will change uh, with the rate. I'm going to go ahead and set my tidal volume at uh, 500. I'm going to increase the peak flow. I generally will take a, a zero off of my tidal volume. Whatever's left over, I'll go with that. It's 50 liters a minute. I'm going to keep it on flow triggering. My FiO2 can either go up or down. I was at 100. And I'm going to go ahead and select 60% for my FiO2 at this point. You can also see that I can go up or down on my PEEP. I'm just moving the wheel around to kind of show you how the, the PEEP can go up and down. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep it on 10 of PEEP and then hit uh, accept. I'm good with those settings. So now you can see my settings um, on the top there. It says control, volume, control. That's the, Those are the settings I've already put in. And then down below, uh, or up above rather, uh, all my graphics will be up there. And then down below here in the sandbox, it brings me to my apnea setup. This is where I can set up my um, apnea parameters. Uh, generally, it's it's going to default to 20 seconds. I'll have some settings in volume control, rate of 10, tidal volume of about 510. I can go ahead and change all those, those settings to uh, whatever I want. Okay, the last tab we need to select will include the alarm settings. And the sandbox alarm settings will come up starting from the right, uh, or starting from the re left, rather, going to the right. Um, you have your high peak pressure alarm. Um, then to the right of that, you have your high uh, frequency or rate alarm. To the right of that, this will be the third one in I'm pointing at there. That will be the high and low minute ventilation alarm. And then the last two on the right are my uh, volume, uh, our tidal volume alarms. Okay, this concludes a basic setup of the Puritan Bennett 840, uh, setting up for a new patient. 
Uh, again, I just want to emphasize that I haven't covered advanced concepts such as uh, uh, the square versus the ramp waveform and so on. Thank you.